Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today we'll solve few linear equations. These are going to be very simple linear equations. Nothing to them. Very straightforward. Very simple. As a matter of fact, so simple in fact that some of them you might be able to do them just orally, just in your head. I'm going to put them here and then we'll do them one by one. Here's the first one. 2p plus 7 equals 13. 3x plus 4 equals 19. 9a plus 3 equals 21. And you should do this on your own first before you watch the video. 5a plus 7 equals 57. 7y plus 5 equals 5. Let's do these five first. Let's do these five first before we worry about the next five. So, number one. 2p plus 7 equals 13. As I said, if you like, you, you can pause the video, do them yourself, and then compare your work against the work that we'll do together in a few seconds. Let's subtract 7 from both sides. We can kill this 7. Bring the 2p down. Here we have 13 minus 7. 13 minus 7 is 6. Divide both sides by 2. We can knock out this 2 and 6 divided by 2 is 3. We have p equals to 3. Let's put it back in the equation here. Make sure it makes sense. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 7 is 13 and that's exactly what we have here. Number 2. 3x plus 4 equals 19. Let's subtract 4 from both sides. That kills that 4. We end up with 3x equals to 19 minus 4 which is 15. 19 minus 4 is going to be 15. Divide both sides by 3. Divide both sides of the equation by 3. That knocks out this 3 and x equals 15 divided by 3 which is 5. Let's put it back in the equation. Make sure, make, make sure it makes sense. 3 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 plus 4 is 19. That's exactly what we have here. Number 3. Number 3. 9a plus 3 equals 21. Subtract 3 from both sides. 3 gets knocked out. 3 moves over there with a the negative sign. Positive 3 becomes negative 3. When, when you move positive 3 to the other side, it becomes negative 3. 9a comes down. We end up with 21 minus 3, which is going to be 18. Divide both sides by 9. And we end up with a equals to 2. Let's make sure it makes any sense. Let's put it back in here. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 plus 3 is 21. That's exactly what we have there. Let's keep on going. Number 4. 5a. 5a plus 7 equals 57. Subtract 7 from both sides. 7 is going to get knocked out. 5a comes down. 5a equals 57 minus 7, which is going to be 50. Divide both sides by 5. That's going to knock out that 5. And A is going to equal 50 over 5, which is 10. Let's put it back in the equation, make sure it makes sense. 5 times 10 is going to be 50. 50 plus 7 is 57. That's, what, that's exactly what we have here. Let's do the last one. 7y plus 5 equals 5. As a matter of fact, this one, I was tempted to do it just here because it's too simple. There's 5 on both sides. Subtract 5 from both sides and we are done. Here we end up with a 0. If 7 times y equals 0, if 7 times some quantity equals 0, then that quantity has to be equal to, has to be 0. 7 times some quantity equals 0, that quantity has to be 0. Put it back in there and we'll see it will make sense. 7 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 5 is 5, which is exactly what we have here. Let's just keep on going. 5 more. 3d plus 7 equals 19, 4e plus 3 equals 19 again, 5m plus 4 equals 29, 6x plus 3 equals 45, and finally 7d plus 1 equals 50. Let's do them one by one. 3d plus 7. Let me change the marker. This marker is not... 
does not have much life left in it. That marker that we just put away, that marker was moribund. We'll learn that in a second. 3D plus 7 equals 19. Let's subtract 7 from both sides. 7 gets knocked out. 3D equals 19 minus 7 is 12. Divide both sides by 3. Divide both sides of the equation by 3. That's how we say 3 gets cancelled out and D equals 12 divided by 3 which is 4. Put it back in the equation make sure it makes sense. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 7 is 19. That's exactly what we have here. How can we possibly go wrong? It's too simple. 4E. Of course, that's exactly when, when you go around making that proclamation, that grand proclamation, how can I possibly go wrong? It's too simple. That's when you make a mistake because you become too cocky and you become careless. You become too cavalier. Mustn't do that in the, mustn't do that in the real exam. Subtract 3 from both sides. 3 is going to get knocked out. 4E comes down. 19 minus 3 becomes 16, divide both sides by 4, 4 gets cancelled out and E equals 4. Put it back in the equation, make sure it makes sense. 4 times 4 is 16, 16 plus 3 is 19, that's exactly what we have here. Let's keep on going, we are up to number 2. Number 3, 5M plus 4 equals 29. Subtract 4 from both sides, 4 gets cancelled out, 5m comes down, 29 minus 4 is going to be 25, divide both sides of the equation by 5, 5 gets knocked out and m equals 25 over 5 which is 5, put it back in the equation, make, make sure it makes sense, 5 times 5 is 25, 25 plus 4 is 29, that's exactly what we have there. Let's do the penultimate one, let's do the an ultimate one. 6x plus 3 equals 45. Subtract 3 from both sides. Subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. 3 gets knocked out. 6x comes down. 42 minus 3 is 40. 45 minus 3 is 42. Divide both sides by 6. 6 gets knocked out. And x equals 42 divided by 6. 42 divided by 6 is 7. And how do we know 42 divided by 6 is 7? Because 7, 6 is 42. We know our tables. Which is why I told you to memorize all the tables 1 through 12 in the first few days of the series. Today is 67. If you spend the first 3, 4, 5 days, I don't know how many it was, I think it was 10 days, learning our timetables. 6, 7 is 47. 6, 6, 7 is 42. What the hell? And therefore it's 7. Put it back in there, make sure it makes sense. 42 plus 3 is 45. Let's do the last one. 70. 70 plus 1 equals 50. Subtract 1 from both sides. And we end up with 70. Comes down. 50 minus 1 is 49. Divide both sides by 7. And 7 cancels out. And D equals 49 over 7, which is 7. Again, how do we know that? Because we know our square, 7 squares is 49, 7 7 is 49. Put it back in here, 49 plus 1 is 50, that's exactly what we get here. The only thing that we have left here to take care of are these two vocabulary words. Let's learn these two vocabulary words so that, so that uh, we don't forget them. What does it mean to be moribund? I said that marker is moribund. Let me, get, let me grab a new one. Moribund means something that's almost dead, something that is dying, something that is close to death. We learned it on our vocabulary lesson, day number 71. And what does penultimate mean? That question that you see there, 6x plus 3, right here, was a penultimate question. It was the second to the last question on the vocabulary words that we learned on day number 11. If you are interested in improving your vocabulary, if you are preparing for any of these tests, ACT, SAT, TES, GMAT, GRE, having a decent vocabulary is a must. If you are interested in improving your vocabulary, as I said, 
just type in, for example, whichever test that you're preparing for, it doesn't matter. For example, just type in GRE vocabulary words day 11 and you will see the video where we learned the word penultimate. If you're preparing for the SAT, just type in SAT vocabulary words day 11, day 71 and you will see the video where we learned the word morbid, which means, as, as we already said, which means something that is dying, something that is close to death. Do you understand? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.